Hi everyone, thanks so, mu so much for coming along to this video today. We are going to paint this um, wintry hot cocoa mug in acrylics. Uh, I have already done a drawn version where I, I take you step by step through. We've already done a watercolour version, so today is acrylic and there will also be a marker version. Now to get this download, all you need to do is check out the community tab and there's a link there for you to download all of my colouring sheets and traceables and learn to draw step by step. But if you wanted the book as well, that's also available over on Amazon, which has all of the winter designs in and it's ready to go for you to take anywhere you want. Um, there are also three other books. I have four now. Um, I'm bringing one out about every three months. So there'll be a different set of traceables and um, colouring sheets. If you want to keep up to date with those, best thing to do is go to my website, heartanddesign.org.uk. Link is below. And sign up to emails because I send them out automatically every time I release a new set. Okay, so let's get started. Let's move all these out of the way. I will keep the initial drawing next to me so I have it. So you can do the same and I'm going to start thinking about my color scheme now the way I work when I do these videos is I want to do all of the thinking all of the processing right here in the video set so that you see all of it see all, everything that I think that way you learn um learn better because you're learning the process and if I mess it up I mess it up if I don't do a job that I feel was particularly good then you see me doing that and I just think that's a more realistic way of working. So you see everything. Right, so I, I think what I want to do is have maybe, we had a purple mug before. I think I'd quite like to still have a purple mug. So I'm just going to mix up um, a purpley colour, see what we come out with. Um, so I am off screen mixing because I don't have enough cameras at the moment, but I'm hoping that will come soon. So to make purple, we need red and blue and some white to lift it into purple. Now you'll either end up with a purple that's a bit too blue or a purple that's a bit too red. You make the choice of how you want that purple to look. So we're getting there. I'm not sure I'm liking the colour I'm mixing. It's almost gone pink somehow. A bit too much red. So let's get some more blue. That's better. We're getting there. Oh dear. My mug's gone. Brush has got a bit full of paint. I think what I'll do is I'll pause because that way I can mix all the colours and I'm not off camera wasting time. Hold on. Okay, I'm finally ready to go. So what we've done is we've got a nice kind of almost lilac-y purple now. And because this is the lighter colour, I'm going to put the lighter colour into the centre of the mug. Okay, so let's go for it. Just going in the middle. I'm actually going to add some more white on the page with it because I really want it to be light. And once you start putting it down, you can see how light it is there. Try not to have too much water, otherwise you're going to be thinning your paint out. Now I'm going to come right up to the edges like that. And I'm going to start adding in a slightly darker purple around the edges. And we'll kind of blend that in around. Okay. Get that light a bit all the way up to here. Get a bit more water on my brush. And I'm just going to work in, keep working in a slightly darker purple around the edges so that it blends over what's already there. We don't really want that to be separate. Okay, I'm going to add on another bit. Keep adding the purple in. And now I am going to come around with my, sorry, I didn't mention what brushes I'm using. I'm using an angled brush coming round. 
it's much easier to do when you move the paper around so I recommend you doing that and with the top I would definitely use that edge at the top and kind of brush down the purple you don't really it's very light on the screen this happened in the last tutorial I must work out why the colors aren't aren't right okay and so you brush down they're much more brighter in real life and then what we'll do is we'll work that color in with our lighter lilac here More water on my brush there we go okay let's light it up a bit more in that middle okay so that's just our first coat i'm just going to let that dry i am using acrylic paint paper rather than a canvas but it is like feels like canvas i think it's the day day around me it's not too expensive and it's easy just to practice on Right, so I'm coming in with some darker purple again. And it's just where I really want to darken up these corners a bit more. And the bottom as well. So down here we want to make sure we've got a much darker kind of shape coming down. And again, we need to just be blending that up so it doesn't look like there's just a line there. Okay. I'm going to leave that for a minute. And I think what we'll do is make a little bit of grey. So <clears throat> on your palette, what I always do is I have the primary colours and I try and use only those to do all of my mixing so i'm just using black and white now to find the grade the value of gray that i want so we're coming around and i just wanted the top to have like a slightly different color to the rest of the mug More water Turn it round if you need to. If you're feeling as though the angle is awkward for your hand, then turn it round. And sometimes I use the point of the angle brushes just to get in there. Okay. Because it should kind of meet that that's that's the top rim. It shouldn't be separate to the mug. Okay, so now I've done that. I'm going to go over it and just kind of add a little purple in so it is darker you're having that gray there but it's got that hint of purple in it so you know that it's <clears throat> part of the mug but we're just adding that in gently I mean we've got work to do on the mug yet it takes time to pull that together so we're going to work now on the cream and so for that I do have a separate color and it is like a cream color that I don't have to mix up because it's perfect for what I want to do. So if you've got the colour, you may as well be using it. So I'm going to mix that with some white. Because to start with, I just want it really, really light for the first layer. So I'm going to go in. There we go. And it's just, I'm literally just kind of in the middle just brushing it in there we go It'd be lighter at the top anyway so just kind of brush that in lightly okay 
and then come around. There. And then we'll just really just go around roughly dabbing in. So we've got a nice layer to get started on before we add any more in. I'm going to come in with some more. Let's mix up a bit more. I'm just adding white all the time um, at the moment just so that the colour isn't so dark. And then I'm using the shape of the brush to create the waves of heat that are coming off. Can you see that? I'm just using, it's really, really simple, just to use that shape of the brush to come round. Okay. So you can create that shape without much too much work because the angle brush does the work for you. A bit too much paint on my brush then if that happens. Just be careful. Coming round. There. Just need to right let that dry and i need to come to the handle of the mug because we haven't really dealt with that so we're using the same purple colors so i'm starting off light i'm just going to put a full layer down of our nice sort of pale purple and just make sure we've filled it in it's just this is just getting the initial layers of color down and then we can work at it more if we wish to. So these are the activities I tend to do here for my Learn to Draw book. They're, they're nice little illustrations. They're things you can just do in your sketchbook to fill a page. They're things you can um, draw and colour and use in your card making or your scrapbooking. They don't have to be painted. You can just draw them and colour them. You can add bits to it. You can change the writing, change the patterns. Just make it your own. Right, so. Coming in again with some of the darker paint. Oh, just caught some white on there. We don't want that. We want it to be dark, dark as much as possible now. Because that will give us the feeling of... 3D-ness, the more difference there is between the light and the dark. And we obviously don't want to have any brush marks there too much, so we're going to brush them down a bit. And there will be some darker purple underneath here as well because it's the underneath of the mug so we're going to come in and around just bring it around like that okay and then that gives us a bit of dimension for the mug and then it will also be a bit darker here because that's the underneath of the handle okay now we can we can leave it like that because that just it's already created the 3d-ness or we can come in and kind of blend it a little bit with some mid mid value between the two can you see we're blending it in so that it's not just a stark line and it's actually some shadows and some light there and it starts to feel a bit more real because we've blended it in so i'm going to make some more of that mid-tone again it's just more purple less white and let's see yeah that's nice so we're just going to blend that in to where we've been with the dark color and we're just kind of finishing it off so that it's neat and tidy nothing too messy there there we go is the bit that needs blending in a bit more I think I'm 
kind of trying to make a little space like to put the writing almost like framing it in the mug and that's kind of where the writing will be where the light is so we will also come in at the end and we can do some highlights with some really really light light purple or even some white right so i'm going to come in now with the cream and try and create some darker sections with that as well i mean i know cream isn't really this color but nothing is ever really white it absorbs colors around it and i just think if you color it in give it like that creamy creamy feel it will feel like cream because of that there we go I'm going to let that dry. That's good. I think we'll move on now to let's do the marshmallows and the kind of pinky colour I mixed earlier. I'm going to wet that up again um, and we'll use that for marshmallows because I did, I don't know if you saw the beginning, I was mixing purple and it was just going really pinky. So we're going to use some of that now to do the marshmallows. So I'm going to quickly dry the cream colour. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint in with the edge of my brush I think we might need it to be a bit lighter than that they're usually very very pale pink aren't they marshmallows let's try that again that's better and there's another one here and i'm trying to go with the shape of the edge at the moment of the marshmallow i'm not actually i'm not actually um painting the, the ends because they're like tube tubes, aren't they? These are little tubular marshmallows. So I'm not worrying too much about doing the ending yet. We'll just get the rectangle shape in. Like that. Again, use the edge of the brush to create your nice straight edges. Hopefully you can see that. And now I'm going to come in on the ends and I'm just making it a little bit darker so that you can see the difference of the ends of the marshmallows to the rest of it and really you can still just use the end of your brush and all it is is it's just you do one and then two underneath and it kind of creates this oval shape for you okay looking good okay so that's the marshmallows done now what we need to do is <clears throat> darken up the cream colour a little bit. So I'm going to do that. Almost I'm making like a, a grey cream, if that makes any sense. So just literally a tiny dab of black I put in it and it's created like a grey cream. And what I'm going to do is just... Oh, a bit watery but you can see there I've created a shadow underneath the marshmallows okay so it's still sorry my head's probably in the way it's still very um still creamy but it's just that slightly bit darker and um it's just where where the marshmallows are poking up through the bottom <laughs> So that makes it look like 3D because um, you would have shadow underneath them on the cream. And it's all that, that's all that needs to be. Now what I'm going to do with the same colour, I'm going to come round and when you look on the original image at the top, you'll be able to see there's lots of little marks and things kind of just swirls creating um, depth. So I'm going to come in with that darker colour and kind of create some of those swirls. Okay. And that will, again, give us more of depth and more of an idea of what's going on. So 
It's little curves here and there. Doesn't matter where really. And that just, as you can see already, has given us some idea of lumps and bumps of cream. So I'm putting some at the bottom because it is the bottom and it will be kind of spilling over. So it will be a bit darker there. So all I did was added a tiny, tiny speck of black to the that cream colour we had. And that's given us that nice grey cream. That's all that is. Um, just going to come round like that with that one to make it look darker there. It needs to look darker underneath the top layers. And as you can see already on the screen, it's starting to look a bit more 3D. Okay. So we'll actually make a lump out of that. We'll do the same here and we'll do the same here. We'll leave the top quite light because it's at the top. And um, we can come in again, as I said, and do some highlights as well anyway. So let's get some, I'm going to come back to the mug and I'm not going to stop until I'm happy. So I recommend that you just keep layering until you get it how you want it, because it's really important for you to be happy with what you've done. So here I'm now coming in with a really light purple and I'm going to just come and tidy up the edges okay now I don't want to be adding too much light on the bottom because that's where it's dark so it's going to be the light's going to be hitting the top and this edge here on the top but it won't be hitting me underneath so that little bit of highlight there has created a nice kind of 3d-ness I'm going to come in again with the lighter color I think and just yeah just do some nice little swoops like that and that will also show that even in those darker bits there's some light reflecting on can you see that so just some little lines and then that will show the light is shining on it gives it that 3d shiny look that mugs do have so Again, we're not going for like hyper real here, but we want it to look 3D. We want it to have some depth. <clears throat> there we go. And we can do a bit more here. And what we can do also is go in with just white. And that really does give us some nice highlights. So I'm going to come in with just my white. Yeah. Can you see that? So that really does lighten up some of the areas for us. And coming down with white on these ones as well. So where I've been with that lighter purple, I'm just kind of going over them a little bit with the white, just to show a little bit of shine on the mug. I'm not going to do too much. I don't think it needs it. We don't want to overwork and spoil what we already have. And the light is really shining a lot here. So I'm going to come in with kind of a big swoop. There we go. A bigger swoop. I'm still not too happy with my blending at the top. So I'm going to come in and try and get another mid purple and just kind of smudge it in a bit more that's better don't want to ruin it but I definitely wasn't happy with the blending it was looking too too different to um kind of immediately different there was no gradient to dark from light it was just a sharp line of darkness okay so we're pretty pretty good going there um I think what we need to do come in with some of that slightly darker again cream like a creamy grey and I think just add it to some of our little heat waves it can still have that nice light colour there but 
having that very dark kind of grey cream again just gives it a bit more interest okay the more difference in value you can have the more interesting it becomes to the eye to anyone that's looking at it I'm going to come in with just the plain white again and now we're going to do some highlights so def definitely at the top and around here where there's like where there's a lump and it's on the top of the lump like that okay we can just add bits in and that helps to give another kind of dimension another 3d layer right there we go so it's just where the light's catching it a little bit And we can do the same as well with these lines of heat. So they'll also have like three values just to bring them to life a little bit. These are tiny little decisions that I'm making that, you know, they're not going to have a massive effect although i will say with values it's really really important to have no matter what you're doing to have three values so you have the lighter version of that color and you have a mid-range color and then you have the darker one so i had three different kinds of purple mixed just varying in value now i am also just coming around the edge of the top there where the light might be hitting some aspects of it okay again that just gives it a bit more real real effect okay so i think we're done mostly with that it's um just the final details and then we can write in the wording um, but I do think what we need to do is get some of that lighter pink and just also put it on the top a little bit. So we know it's the top still, but we're just making it a little bit lighter. And we can also come in with the darker pink, slightly darker. And where it's coming out of the cream we'll just create a little bit of shadow there okay just a little bit of shadow where it's on the underneath okay so i think we'll leave our little marshmallows alone now and the next thing is to come in and draw well paint some sprinkles So again it doesn't matter what colors you do your sprinkles in um but i've got a paint pen here so i'm going to just draw some little sprinkles in that are those colors because it's just easier easier and quicker so little rectangles um what i would say is don't space them out too evenly have little groups of sprinkles here and there because it's more realistic that's how they will land in little groups so draw them in i think that's enough of that color i've got a really bright pink so i'm going to use that oh i think it might be dried up they do dry up after a while don't they no nope, that one's not not having it let's try my yellow one i've only got a few colors in posca so the yellow one's okay so let's go for a few yellow ones dotted around you can't see them as well because it's yellow on yellow almost isn't it oh you can see them okay and 
you can literally just do little lines here and there and i think what i really want to do is add in some brown ones because um to make brown is just again it's your three primaries but i've got one ready mixed so i'm going to use that and really just to go in with it and we're just going to dot the brown around as though they're like little chocolate chocolate hundreds and thousands chocolate sprinkles there we go nice and all these little details helps to make it more realistic so just go for it got a few together there so i'll come in and put a few together there might actually put a few at the top like that there that's enough you don't want to go too mad with the sprinkles remember they can be absolutely any color you want so you just use what you've got you could even come in with gel pens and do it with gel pens and things like that so you can you don't have to do it with the acrylic paint we're going to now move on to doing the writing. So I'm just going to make sure it's completely dry, dry. Okay. So what you could do is you could use your Posca if you have a Posca pen. Okay. You can use um, a black liner pen if you have a black liner pen um or you can use your brush and paint but i will say writing with a brush and paint i just find tricky and it smudges sometimes so all i'm doing is i'm looking at the sheet and i'm copying the letters exactly as it is so i'm going to come over create my o so that's hot and then we're going to have cocoa over here you can see why I say do it with a pen because you're able to do it much more neatly. Obviously, in mind an acrylic paint pen, but if you haven't got one of these, don't worry. Use um, a liner pen if you've got a liner pen. But I would say try and get some Poscas if you can because they are then useful for things like this. Okay, hot cocoa time. So we're going to swoop round with the T, the I. Uh, the M and then I'm just going to come like that and I like that little loop on top of there got to give it a thing and then we'll do a nice big exclamation mark and a swirl for the bottom there hot cocoa time so then because I've got this little Posca pen here I have got a white one somewhere as well I think but again that's probably dried up doesn't want to work so I would have gone in with white on some so what I'll do in a minute is I'll get my white gel pen out instead and then I'm just going in and drawing these little details in because they help just to finish it off um, and that's all I'm doing now so this is just a bit where you can play and just do what you want to do <laughs> right and then some dots here and there just because i can <laughs> there's no particular reason it's just why not hmm? why not and so you can use this to kind of come in and emphasize some of the darker areas with your um fosca pen because it is still it's still acrylic paint. I'm just going to come in and <coughs> excuse me. I'm just going to come in and, as you can see, just emphasize some of the darker points. I might even just come around here. I don't want to line the whole thing because I don't want to outline everything. It's fine as it is. Okay, so I was going to get my white gel pen was nice so let's get that out the gel pens i've got are jelly roll but i have heard and i'm gonna try you can get a uniball 
there's a uniball white pen out now and um from the sounds of it they're very good <clears throat> i think i'm getting a cold right so there so you can see we can have some nice little white sprinkles to some nice white dots here and there i said sprinkles i wonder if i can get it to i don't think it wants to work up there so And we can emphasize these lines some more with the white as well that's like my voice is going i really do think i'm getting a cold it's that time of year so it wouldn't surprise me and what you could even do is kind of highlight the lettering a little bit which is nice and so like so just coming around i mean really i'm just playing with it now so <laughs> you can stop wherever you want to stop i'm just enjoying so it's nice just to try things out and this is why i do it this way because you can see me thinking you can almost feel me thinking through the screen about my next steps and what i'm going to do and how it all comes together I'm going to put some white highlight of the uniball of the jelly roll pen up here as well. It, there we go. I think that's nice. And we're done. I would say we're done. I need to stop now because I'm going to end up overworking it. You could even actually, I say that, I say stop, but then I'm going to get my gold jelly pen out. <laughs> and you could even kind of add that to the darker areas on here and then they'll shine so now we've got shiny shiny cream which is nice in places you don't want too much of it so get some on that heat get that sparkling and we could just draw some simple lines like that in the gold because there are some on the drawing and I think we missed some out as well I'm actually going to do a full one there there <laughs> I'm done I think we're all done anyway hope you like it and um, don't please don't forget to subscribe I don't think I've even said that yet please subscribe um follow like comment and don't forget if you want the download so you can print and follow along just pop over to my website heart h-a-r-t and design.org.uk and every month i will email out the new set so you can have them ready um if you're too late for that email because it's already gone out then they are also available on the community tab so if ever you do miss them they will be there so have a good day everyone and I hope you're not getting a cold lightning. <laughs> Take care, bye.